Hello, everybody. This is Dehedroth, and we are back for some more Blood Bowl. Uh, this time for Morrow's Mixed Mayhem League. Uh, let's take a quick review of the team here. I know my opponent's online. We're waiting a little bit. He's got a whole lot more team value than us. We are... Um, definitely we're looking worse for wear. We're down two blitzers. One just straight up died, and one um, we had to um, had to let go because she was down a strength and an agility, so she was basically dead. But we do have two level up players overall. Um, Yarrick with Mighty Blow, and now Lehman Roos with Mighty Blow as well, too. Apothecary 2 rerolls. We have 60k. Hoping to save up for some better players and um, start recovering a little bit. We are up against Far East Orchard today. Who luckily not as many big guys that I had to worry about as that, but lots of running, lots of block, tackle, and a couple of black work. This has nothing to Check for level ups for him. He's like got one level up with the gutter runner. Two heads, so he's gonna be better at dodging. Beyond that, it's all um pretty well one reroll and an apothecary. No stunty players. So we'll see how that goes overall. Well, folks, what do you say we um, poke the opponent and see if he is ready? Skaven are not terribly tanking, no. He's gonna, but they can move and dodge with the best of them. And there's the invite. Let's go! Blood Bowl! The so good news is he's not getting anything for this. We get a journeyman. Uh, just flat up. I don't know what that is. But we have 230k. Which means I can get a mercenary of some sort. But who do I want? Surprisingly, I can't actually get, um... You know, let's get... Mercenary Ogre. Keep him at level 1. And a Bloodweiser, babe. And we'll call that day. So we go up two players right now. With an extra big guy. Get your pre-match sequence ready. And let's see who we get as the, um... As our journeyman. I wonder what they're going to give us in regards to that. So we're in the orchard. And coin toss. Who wins? He gets to choose. And the GL have the GLHF.
All right. Yeah, so we have a Bretonian on this. Well, here's the thing with with having fun on this. Um, you have a big problem of this is Blood Bowl. So having fun is um, a very relative term. Where is Yarrick? Yarrick is right there. Yarrick does not go on the line. Our loner does. Yarrick stands in over here. A win would be very nice with this team. So far, I've had... This is, what, week three? Week four? I've lost track, but we're, we're not in a good shape. Looking from that setup there. So yeah, um, for the most part, we're equal on some strength. He's got a couple of more four strength pieces like his black work. I took one of the black work off. Nope, that's that. Is that. Um, and his bull centaurs. Anybody got me playing cards? But what he does have advantage of is with like his chaos dwarfs or chorfs for short. He's got block, tackle, they're a lot harder to enter. He is going to be very good at ball handling. Yeah, the Skaven Gutter Runners, they're not strong, but they are fast, and they're agility four, which means they can dodge all over the place. All right, and here's the kick. Oh, and we get a blitz. All right. He's strength three. You get there for the blitz. I would rather blitz the orc over here who doesn't have anything. Just what are you doing, Jim? Oh, I'm sorry, Bobby. You caught me polishing my teeth. Why are you polishing your fangs, Jim? Since we are now zapped across the old world in high destiny, cabal vision, the viewers can see everything. So I need to look my best. He doesn't have any frenzy pieces. They're gathering around that little player, like halflings round the center. So we get a nice little blitz that kind of works out for us. Didn't do anything much, but... I'm actually happy to get a Bretonian lineman. Fend is an annoying skill. Oh, these peasants are 
are really good at avoiding contact. Means no follow ups. They've grabbed the ball. A wise move, as it's quite fundamental. And it's, it's going to the hand. two head rat. It's like what's the parcel down there? Oh, oh, Yeti goes down. And an injury right away. No. I, love adding my own I need him in this, and this is not going to be. Um... Yes, yeah, Skaven have nine movements. The gutter runners are the fastest, um, fastest units in the um, game. Having to use my um Hey Resnus, thanks for the follow, my man. Having to use my apothecary turn one, not even my turn one, his turn one. Really doesn't sit well with me. Don't put that bad juju on me, Resonance. I know it's a bad omen, but don't say it, okay? Don't put that bad juju on me. Freaking two heads and... Dodgy. Uh, so we have Celestine in the back here. Actually, we can step up with um, nice Tim over here. Block stands firm. Yes, yes, Nuffle. Very is a stun. You have tackles, so I can't necessarily do just dodge away from you. That would be the nice thing to do. Okay, let's stand you up. Okay, you used to have dodge and two heads. Your roll. All right, only a push. Not what I wanted. I had 
if I blitzed with the block piece, I could have taken that block, which would have been better. But, you know. Let's see what we make, can do to get us out of this kind of messy situation over here. Not much without taking red dice. I mean, we do have block. Take the double push. to try. Need to start breaking some of the stuff up. And a quick turn two touchdown. Alright, so that wasn't that bad still gives me a t plenty of time to respond. Plenty of time to respond. And to be frank, not really sure why he scored so early. I mean, I can get it. He's Scott Skaven. He can literally, especially with two heads, he can literally do that all day long. And there's nothing I can do unless I actually get a good hit to stop him. But he can easily outmaneuver me. And he had the hitting advantage at the time. Oh. I'll take a turn two score. Benning's probably hoping he gets a blitz and maybe recovers the ball. Um, pass, B come off for my mercenary. Set up on the sides like that. Blitzers are going to be in a little bit more forward position. Hits. 
All right, well, let's see what we did here now. Let's both team lose turn, okay? That's not a bad kick. Not great, but not bad. Right, let's take this hit first. You know, I may actually say something witty and insidious. Waiting for the players and the coaches to do something. Anything! Please, oh! And a death! Unfortunately, it's Waiting from the mercenary. And an apothecary Hughes bought both teams basically right back to back. Ogre is doing some work. All right, let's hit. All right, so he's not going to do anything. We'll take this hit instead. I'll take the push. We stay. That should be a one die now. We'll take that laugh. Start moving some people up. And Celestine, please, please pick up the ball. Yes, they picked up the ball. Alright, and then could you please hand off to her? Rewind that because I would like to have the ball. A good solid hand. Thank you. Well Alright, Canonus. Time to get you to move back into a position that I can use you in. Calgar, go hold the line for the Imperium, my good man. I can move you back towards the middle. Alright, Yarrick. You're used to taking on things much bigger than you are. I need to get you Dauntless. Charge the Ogre. Good hit. Step up there. Alright, so Bonehead goes through and he gets to stand up. Don't think he realized that was a dodge. That I that sucks, but I am going to make sure I take advantage of that. All right, so let's smack here. Likes to be well assisted in the fight. We have blocked. We get a stun. We'll step you up. Alright, so. Both are four. Step you up here. 
Step you up there. That should allow Lemon Roos to start hitting. Get together and fall on It does. Very nice hit, actually. All right. How can I? Let's move over this way. Garrick, you did it before. I know I don't have any rerolls, but just don't roll a skull. Okay, please. I'll take a push. He won't leave him alone. I know you're not going to do too much over there, but let's move you that way. Tuck. Cannon us in over here. And bring you right here for some support. But where is the blood? Where is the SPP? I've been asking that my sa th myself this entire freaking season so far, Resonus. At least with this team. My necromantic team has been doing quite well, actually. All right, no rerolls on either side here. All right, and there's the stun. Mighty Blow Yeti will be promising some big hits here. Alright, get the hit. I'll take stuns all day long. I can still smack an ogre. Or bull centaur. Grimal just takes the hit. All the stuns all the time. What we're here for. I have come to the conclusion just after these few matches that I we, I have played in mixed league. Um, human league not that great. And don't get me wrong, it's not doing bad. I am somewhat competitive. I can dodge, and I got a lot of block. But when I get hit, I get hit. And it takes a while to get back up. Case in point. Alright. So let's see, let's move you over here really quick. here I'll take a push follow that up and we will move to the back Centaur there now. Well, that just ruined that plan. If I blitz with you, I can wrap around and set up. That's not going to really help. I can kind of make a cage. 
maybe dodge away with you. I could try to dodge away and hit, but that's a four up dodge. Take the one die and see. Maybe we can push. We don't follow up. Suppose we try to dodge out and it's four up. How have we been rolling this turn? Three. Lots of threes. Lots and lots of threes. I think we're overdue for a four, don't you, th don't you think, Jet? Yes, yeah, that's. Let's take it. Oh. See, we get it. Don't know what I was so worried about. Do you think there's going to be any action at all in this game? I'd like to say something. Or I'm just going to go and watch Game of Gnomes instead. Right, this turn I get all my pieces back. Ogre goes down. Got some hot ogre on ogre action. I got Blodge. See? He's fine. I mean, it is all ogre now. And, um, um, I may have a chance to find a way to break out of this. I don't really want to score yet. I would rather keep it to a point where I can delay and hopefully, you know, set up prevent the one turn. Now that I can against a two head. But, you know, you can see. I may have to um, end up scoring, though. With how these things are, with how everything is set up. Stand you up. Stand you up. We're standing everybody up. Caligar, you're gonna hold the line against that black orc. Yeah, smells like a good old fashioned fight. Jamal, just go and help your ultramarine boy. Let's see. That gives me one string. That's a one string. That's an even. So what's the play? Hit here. Blitz here. Try to run this way in. Do my best to block off. Tackle takes away dodge, so I want to stay away from him. Really, my best bet is to kind of try and get into this way and set myself up to where they have to push me into the touchdown. That still ends their turn. But we are gonna take at least one hit after we do everything over there because this is the important stuff over here. Smack here. I wanted to knock it down, but 
That's fine. Stay. Blitz here. Maybe better dodging out of the way rather than blocking the ball. No chill. Strike first, run later. That's always been my fault. I still have two turns and I'm relatively safe right now. Alright, so now we take some Yeti hit. Two big guys. Yeti hit! Yeti gets a stun. And now Yeti is free. Yeti is free to roam and hit other guys. I think I can get this. It's a mess, but it's my mess. Bludge is going to be a, ver a very important part in all of this. With she's going to be hard to take down. Unless he uses the tackle for the blitz. That's a double go for it. Well, they had to retreat a little. Alright. So I'm down. It's a solid tactic. And I got a KO. Oh, please do it, because even if I can, I can surf you right there. And believe me, that will be my life decision. I think I can still get you. Yeah. Yeah, we can get you. Oh, that's a tempting hit. That is tempting. Will the big one manage to lay out an opponent of half his strength? Have to follow up. Do it this way. Because two big guys is always better than one. All right, no one. Need to get the ball forward. The end zone is in sight. Oh. We. Hey, that's not a bad place for the ball. I can't score, I don't think, but not a bad place. Yeti hit. Yeti hit.
Calgar taking on some works. And yeah, he'll get a good hit. Alright, Celestine. That's, that's not what I needed, Celestine. Thank you for trying. I had a chance if I could have passed Mr. Gamaldus. Well, let me see. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go for it. Go for it. No, not there. I can... No. Can't even do it there. Oh, well, at least I prevented the two touchdowns in the same turn from him. I will gladly take that over being scored on multiple times. No! Okay, badly hurt. You're fine. You'll be back next game. I'm just down a player. Actually, not even down a player. I have a bench. And both rats are KO'd. Now I can only hope that, um... That they um, stay KO'd for this entire time. All right, so now we just go, we can't score. I'm not gonna try. I don't have any pieces that can easily get away and still score down. Because you would be my closest, then you're one away if you were one down. Well, I would need a piece here. Can you even get the ball? Yeah, but that pass. I don't think I can get enough pieces over there to do it. Is he would have to take the hit and push him one. She would have to go pick up the ball, successfully pick up the ball, and then throw it all the way downfield to him. And then he would have to catch it and run. Yeah, the only other piece that I can, unless I free up... Yeah, unfortunately, I can't do it now. If I had maybe... Moved him somewhere else to free something else I could have gotten over there. You technically can. Then I need to free you up. I mean, let's try. Alright, nope. That's basically saying nope, it's not going to happen. All right, so now we just take all the hits. Ogre pushy match. Yerick taking on an orc and getting double skull. Oh, that's the half. I've definitely had more... I've had worse halves, I'll say that. 
we'll say definitely say that. And of course, both of his rats come back. And a few of the knockout players return to the action. Oh, I am down a blitzer. This team has just kicked it away. <laughs> Means we're going to adjust a little bit here. Bend there. See what we can do here. All right, that's a reroll. I'll take that. That's another really close kick. If he doesn't have kick, And we start with the same basic strategy here. Hey, okay, no, we don't. Both my big guys. I think he's moving. No. And Calgary, you're gonna go hold the line. Let's see if I can't make something happen this this odd uh, turn. Stay in the back for a turn right here. See how things develop. is down That's why I'm and he's gonna be missing the next game
I love it when that happens. Take that. Okay. I've recovered from worse. They can go for a while if they keep bouncing back and forth depending on the scatter. It keeps going until it eventually either is picked up or is um, dropped by or is um, dropped and ends in a empty square like that. One die. Sixty-seven with a dodge, but you are you still are needed there. But if I dodge you out, there we go. You'll get an assist now. Now that's a two die. I can get the hit. Is the assist gonna be enough to come out on top? That works. Pick it up, Celestine. And then where do we want to go now? I didn't take my own advice. I got plan part A, part B. Skipped part C and went to profit. Let's put you over there. That's safe with a question mark. And yeah, we'll take a one die here, see how that goes. We get a push, that's fine. Good call. Intimidation is the key. 
you can blitz, but that's a bit of a stretch there. At least we got dodge on her. There's the blitz right there. That was easy. Come on, dodge. Dodge! He lives! Yarrick lives! But you know, I suppose it is also very fitting considering he's Yarrick. How to get myself out of this sticky wicket? I can get her up and out. Center is okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and your two heads. They'll need to get rid of the ball. Now there's pressure on them. Lehman Roos goes down. And he's knocked out. That's not good. And so does Caligar. up that side. I see a play. It is not good play, but it is play, yes. Alright, we get the hit. Um, but that's gonna give them I think that's the play because if Caliger if Yara catches that and there's no interception, he's free. You gotta both of our their gutter runners are over here. So let's set a few things up before we do that. So let's stand you up. Grimaldus. Stand you up. So our, our, our mercenary just wants to stay there. That's where he lives. Alright, Celestine. Yarek. 
I'd already heard about their unique training program based on throwing coconuts. Well, you can say it's pretty effective. Oh, the pass! The pass play! For once, it worked! I was thinking one die. Push you kind of that way. Follow. You can get there with the sure feet. You can get there with a go for it. Can't really move you too much else. That was about as far as you can go. That was... That made me feel good right there. Can you? You could even get there too. Oh, and a turnover! I would like to start clearing the field and getting some more advantage here. If the boneheads could stop, please, just for a little bit, just for just for a little bit. Those players are very close. Smells like a fight is about to happen. Yeah, just go ahead and move downfield. Have to take one for the team there. Calgar, I need you to take one for the team. Excuse me. That is not a little flesh bag. That is Canonus Viridian, okay? She is from the 40k universe and she can do everything that any man can do around here. You can wrap up and kind of stack up over there. Moved right next to a teammate. I really don't want to put you in too much danger of you, so you are just going to go ahead and kind of act as a filter back over here. Yes, yes, small thing, haymaker, big thing. Small thing dodge? Small thing dodge out of the way. And get out of that territory right there. So yeah, bring them up. And go right there. Yeah, small thing, go do that. Dodge. Alright, dodge no work. Another player on the ground. The coach will be spitting tears. Now I'm just holding to hope that the um, block dice go my way just a little bit here on his side. That nine movement showing that it's an effective thing to do.
should have a straight line blitz. Yeah, no tackle zones. Double gopher, though. And a double red die. That player can move over a third of the field in one burst of speed. Wait, wait, what? There's no harm in making a block on the ball carrier. Well, actually, you can do a lot of harm. <laughs> That's kind of the point. All right, so that helped a little bit too. All right, for the I don't know how many time. Ogre, would you like to get into this match? Finally. Unfortunately, that's really the only hit that I have right now. I can take a bunch of two, uh, red die. But nothing can actually get to me. So, end my turn there. Step away for a quick second, guys. I will be right back on his on his turn. Is about to get punched above and below the belt at the same time. Seconds time. This is going to be decisive. All right, folks, I'm back. It looks like I've missed, missed just some hitting. I basically planned on scoring this turn anyway. This reason. Put pressure on the ball. Can't argue with that. The players. Turnover. All right. Oh, you're free. Oh, basically the only thing I really need to do this turn, besides preventing him from scoring, and the continue is move you and then blitz with you. And then we score. So now we get Yard, get some more SPP there. He still got a knockout. 
I've got two injuries. And Lehman Roos is back! He's down, but he will not stay out! Alright, so we're going to take a little bit of a different approach. This way, I'm basically trying to just delay him picking that up. I'll give him some free hits and I might take an injury or some stuns or something like that, but... Good, or I could get a blitz. Go for a blitz, but it's a Yeti, so. Yeah, screw it. We had a free reroll. Let's see if that works. Hey, it does! Play a little bit so we can just respond to where they decide to go. And that's good. Alright, so I have to hold off for three turns for the tie. Or some I'll get lucky and get the ball and score in. Two turns for me. Let's pick up the ball. Apparently, it's more difficult than it seems. Oh, they're handing off and not passing it. Was Down this side, yep. That's what I thought. <laughs> the attacker has an assist. in the public and in general fans are much more dangerous than players to be honest I don't know if I can actually stop the two-headed dodgy rat because it's a two-headed dodgy rat. Now if I had tackle, that might be a different story. But I don't have tackle. Take this. Now's the time, Jeff. One 
of the team's got a play hidden off their collective sleeves. Oh, that didn't work. Action it before time runs out. Oh, please trip on the end. Nope. Oh, I can't. I don't know how to set up. Well, the one turn against that. I don't have the manpower for uh, for everything, so. I think we devolve this into a good, just old-fashioned hitting match. So, let's see, I'm gonna keep um. Viridian back here for you, for now. Because she can, um... You can pass and get a level up for you. Send the GG because I can't score. Then again. Um still really don't think I can. <laughs> but I'm gonna try. You have orcs, dwarfs, men, even beast men sharing the delightful violence in the city. Or not. To see some shredding death. Is this going to be enough to come out on top? Him. Let's look at that player. Yes, the unmistakable sign of a player's eyes rolling up into his head. I send you up. Send you up and bring you over there, Calgar. The modern rerolls now. Pick up the ball. 
Come on, Celestine. Another pass. Pass. Will it start something exciting in the dying moments of the match? You had your chance to get the one SPP that you needed. Survives the foul. That's and that's the game. Yeah, with without being able to actually get those um kids are so stopped on that one gutter runner. That really made that a hard game. All right, well, we got a hundred. Now we got a uh, roller force. We have up to hundred k. Uh, no, thank you, th nice Tim. I appreciate it. Uh, of course, the mercenary gets MVP, which sucks for me. So that's an MVP wasted, but okay. Uh, let's take a look at the stats. We did hold the ball for longer, but the um. Blocks were definitely one way, and they had more injuries and KOs and everything like that. Um, no level ups, unfortunately. But more importantly, let's take a look at the um, the dice for him. That is the most. Even rules I have seen anywhere across this whole thing. Literally, that's the most, the most even rolls for this. 22s, all mid to high 20s for all of his rolls. That's incredible for him. For me, yeah, look at that. 34 ones, high on the back end, which How's really, really hurt. Ex misses Jim, but that don't mean I misses her. She took everything in the divorce, including my family's sacred gut plate. It sucks, but you know that that happens. Um, block dice. It wasn't bad for me because for, for most of my stuff right here is um, these are usually good for most of my players except for my Yeti right now, um, and the mercenary that I had so low on the high end but not bad overall I've seen a lot worse taking a lot worse too um, for him but those being fours and fives again just pretty average all across the side for him Just 
average dice rolls all the, all the way over for the place room. So not bad. Validate the match. So there we go. Links can be played between friends. Enemies. Yes, indeed. Enemies. Victims. Uh, we went down enemies, more. Between all comers or even alone against AI coaches. And I don't mean by that an intelligent bus. We're going to be down one extra player here. But we do have 100k. So I could pick up somebody and I'll still get some, um... Could pick up an extra... Um, Blitzer for my runners from Amazon. That wouldn't be bad. I still went down, yeah, but I can I, I can recover a lot more from that one than any of the other ones. You get a berserker. That's a frenzy with block. Could get a runner that's dauntless. But jump up is a nice thing to have to keep smacking people around to join skinks fitness club all you need to do is sign a 500 year contract if you forfeit a payment don't worry they only sacrifice you to sotek don't really want anything from kislev here's what i really want but i need an extra 10k because dauntless Block and catch makes him a perfect little pairing to go with my um with my uh, thrower there, and she will basically. I could wait another game, but then I'm going into my next game at 880 team value. I'd get two journeymen, yeah. But, um, I can get some mercenaries, and I can just hire mercenaries for that, but then I risk, again, the MVP going to mercenaries. Who am I up against next time? A throw, a push, and a score. Which, that is going to be my good friend, class Classified Berserker. Who I am finally going to have a massive strength advantage over most of his players. Most. Did you know the Spike Magazine trophy was forged in hellfire deep beneath the blighted cigarette of Tsar Nagrund? Many slaves died to create it. But then it was the lowest bid. <laughs> he's got a bunch of knoblars and he's going to be basically playing the throwing game. You know what? If I'm going up against Class and his throwing base team. Oh, he's not a pushover. By by no means is he a pushover. Um, he's got a ogre and a troll. If I remember, he's actually not playing the um, throwing game. He's playing a low t uh, TV team to get a lot of inducements for like following and fouling and stuff and i'm only stronger than their um than basically one two three four five six seven of their teams so just about just a little bit more than half um because he's got a goblin fanatic he's gonna cause havoc all over the place he's got one two he already played this this week. 
he did. So he is down a um, gutter runner. How do I look in HD, Bob? A whiter shade of pale. His knoblers are all strength one. So I can basically always will be getting three dies unless they gang up on me. So then it's pretty easy to get a three die on him again. And I have block. He's got a troll that he can throw his people. He's got an ogre, which ogres can throw? Yep, ogres can also throw as well, too. So he's got two throwers and then the gutter runners. And if you thought gunner runners were bad to catch these um Noblars with Titchy are annoying as heck. Because they have Stunty, which basically means they um dodge like crazy. Because they ignore tackle zones a lot of the time and then titchy um adds one to your dodge roll so these guys can just dodge everywhere and then he has dodge on top of that but they are i, I they i will be able to get plenty of hits on them and they will be spp for me if i can do some damage I think I think I'm going to hold on to the cash this time us are certainly making a splash on the use and leave my team as it is I'd say less of a it kind of pains me more of an incendiary fire you just can't trust but I would them. like to pick up by getting um a catcher for the team instead of sacrifices. I'll get two journeymen next time. Plus inducements. Plus petty cash. And we'll go from there. So yeah, that was the match. Um, where does that put us for the standings for this one? I am definitely not going to be anywhere. I am... Oh my god, I'm actually not in last place. I am second to last place with a one and three. Class has got a three and a one with the wins. So that's who I'm going up against next week. But you know what? I will take it for where I am with this being my first mixed games or mixed season uh, teams that I'm playing. So I will be happy with where I'm at right now. Next time... I'm not playing Human League, I'll tell you that. I will go with something else. I will go with something um, a little bit more hitty. A little bit more powerful. Maybe Far East and play some Chorfs. But that will be basically it for today's stream, guys. Did you know? Stay tuned Bar tomorrow, have only been built in and um, since the last you'll get to watch that, the Zelda Mario League, uh, where no if my, that. um, if Blood Bowl wants to ever answer and come back, there we go, my Necromantic team gets to come back, where I'll be going up against Nurgle, which this should be. Fun. Let's see what let's see what I'm going to do. Get a guard, beast of Nurgle. Niggling injury. So if I injure him, that will be a um. He's easier to be injured. Anything else? No, just the um leveled up Nur uh, beast of Nurgle. Two re rolls. Bunch of Pestigors, which I'm expecting there uh, uh, a Pestigore and a Rotter. So, a standard start for Nurgle. Not a bad one. Um, but yeah, you'll get to see the knockoff Horror Flicks. Who, despite a loss last week, are doing fairly well. Because we were able to get our Flesh Golem, named Good Alive. 
We got a another level up for um, a werewolf. We have an agility for werewolf now. Which will mean I can dodge and pick up the ball with him oh, like an elf now. Got their hands deep into blood and Don't you think, Bob? he's got claw so I can dodge and make some important hits with him. If I get him blocked, claws. he will be a force to be reckoned with. I already have block on another werewolf and we have a fouling a dirty player zombie who is going to be trying to do our fouls here. The only thing is I think let me see this. Okay, so that's just that it's the necromancer that does it, right? Necromancer. Once per match, if a player's opposing team with strength 4 or less that does not have regeneration or stunty is killed. Okay. So, they can't have regeneration or stunty. And if I remember right... So, none of these guys can be affected. But I can turn his rotters into zombies. And, but he can't turn anything of mine except for my ghouls into rotters. So I'm going to be going after his um his rotters and turning them into trying to turn them into zombies on my side for free. But again, thank you guys for sticking for, uh, sticking around. I greatly appreciate it everything if you like what you saw um please if you haven't consider giving me a follow um check out my youtube channel i have it linked in my twitch about me and yeah thank you again for stopping by and everybody have an amazing rest of your day